பாடசாலை டாட் நெட் யூடியூப் சேனலை இது வரைக்கும் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணலன்னா இந்த சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பட்டனை கிளிக் பண்ணிங்க கூடவே இந்த பெல் பட்டனையும் கிளிக் பண்ணிங்க உங்களுக்கான அப்டேட்ஸ் உடனுக்குடன் கிடைச்சிடும்
So the Hakdal Mahdi calls it the Gulf of Fos. When the object has got displaced by a very small distance in dr. This is the dr vector is what's the displacement made by the object when this force acts for a small interval of time. So that is actually given by dw is equal to what's the f dot dr. If you want to find the work done when the object has got moved from the initial position that is ri or ri vector to the final position that is f is given by dw is equal to integral f dot dr ri up to rf. That's what the proper limits will be finding out. Right, sir. Right. Okay. Now, a vector dot b vector is what, sir? A vector dot b vector is a scalar. That is the dot product of two vectors is, is a scalar. Similarly, here the work done by the force is given by the dot product of that is a force and what, sir? The displacement. Force is a vector, displacement is a vector. So, dot product of two vectors is always a scalar. Therefore, the work done by the what, sir? The force is always a scalar. And how work done is generally measured? See, force is measured in terms of there is a Newton, and displacement that distance travelled is actually uh, measured in terms of there is a meters. Therefore, work done is measured in terms of Newton meter, or it is also measured in terms of what's a joule. So, the unit for this is this, that is work done, is Newton meter or joule. So this is how the work done by a constant force is measured. While seeing there is a problem, we will be having more clarity. Okay. So this is the okay. This is basic expression. We can make a problem. Then we can make a class. We can study it. We can make a very custom one of the same kind. Now, if we components for a code, we can make a problem. For example, in the this is the one that we make. R vector. I will make a problem. Work done is equal to F vector dot R vector. R vector is R of minus R I vector. So F vector dot R vector. This is actually given by magnitude of F vector is F. Magnitude of R vector is R into the cos of the angle between the two vectors. So the cos of the angle between the two vectors. So F into R into cos theta. If either one of the work done W is equal to F into R into cos theta. Then theta is zero. When theta is zero, theta is zero means what, sir? The angle between the direction of the force and the direction of the displacement is what, sir? Same. So the displacement is in this direction means the force will obviously be acting in the same direction. Then only the angle between the two will be also zero. In that case, the work done by the force is given by F into R into cos zero is one. That is F into R. That is the work done will be maximum. The work done by the force will be maximum. Then what, sir? The force vector and displacement vector are in the same direction. You understand this? Right. Now, if theta is a 90, if theta is a 90, that is, if the force is acting perpendicular and the displacement is what, sir? The displacement body is in the horizontal direction, the force is acting in the vertical upward direction, then the angle between the two vectors will be what's a 90, but cos 90 is 0, therefore the work done by the force is so when the direction of the force and the direction of the displacement are what's the perpendicular to each other, one of the two one of the other two perpendicular to each other, and the work done by the force is what's the zero potential force. So in the middle of the number, we'll tell you that way. Right. If we have to do the work done by the variable force. How to measure that is the work done by variable force? In case one of if the W is a work that has been done by the force when the body has got displaced to a very small distance, then dW is given by F vector dot dr vector. Okay, force here is not constant. Force here is not constant. If you want to find the work done by this variable force, the object has got displaced from some initial position to some other what's a final position. Here also the work done is actually found by integrating the factors on both sides here. So this is integral f dot d r. So with the problem limits will be using. But what is the main thing is the dot product of these two will be what's a scalar. In the previous case also that is what done by a constant force of the got the same expression but that f can be taken outside. After 
what's the multiplying one vector with another vector? F can be taken outside. Why F can be taken outside the integration time? Because the reason is F is constant there. F is constant. F is constant means any constant what's the when integrating a different uh, differentiation what's the can be taken outside. Or no, there you know. Apa di mana? Apa tu nama dia? Beli lalu tu lah. Anu ini yang mana? Since F is not constant, F is only variable. Okay, we cannot take the F outside the integration. So that is the main thing you have to watch out remember here. Right? If we do that, we will get the graph based upon the work done. The force, F on the one who is acting under the arm, displacement on the x direction. If I come to the curve, I will get it. Right, sir? So getting a curve like this. That is, when the position is here, the force acting on the position of the object is here, the force acting on the object is this. When the position of the object is here, the force acting on the object will be this. When the position of the object is here, what's up? The force acting on the object will be this. Like this, the force, if you try to find the force that we are acting on the body, what's up? The body is in different positions. The force is not constant. If it is a straight line like this, then you can come to the conclusion that the force acting on the body is constant, but it is not a straight line. So, you have got a curve like this. So, your curve is not constant. The force acting on the body is not constant. It what's the changes with the time or it changes with the position here, right? So, if you calculate the work done, it will be simple. Try to find the area under this curve. Try to find the area under this curve. So, this area, this area gives you what's the work done by the area. Of course, mathematically we can prove it. But proof on the board, maybe you know, you must pass on the complete dimensions of the area in the air. Just a little bit of board. Right, sir. So the area in the curve of force displacement, what's the graph, gives you the work done by the force. Okay, work done by the force. So you know, you want to point in the knee now. Right, sir. So any doubt on this? Right, okay.